Hi, I'm Christ Bravo. That's right, folks, I am Bravo de Christos. Hi, I'm still Dick Coughlin. I'm still Dick Coughlin Gothkinos. And uh, yes, that's right. And uh, nice to see, still got the Hawaiian shirt on. Um, I was assuming this is going to be your gimmick, is it? As the, uh, you know, just, that's going to be your thing. And uh, I know you've gone for the baseball cap in this one. Um, now, I don't know whether that's because in the last video I said I couldn't accept a bald Jesus. Um, very unlikely, considering this video was made 12 years ago. Um, but yeah, and um, and you've got glasses as well. So Jesus, bad eyesight, bald, you know. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Let's, let's carry on. Now, upon my first, uh, putting up my first two videos, I've noticed that I've gotten a little bit of criticism. Well, you come on the internet, you claim to be Christ. Some people are going to be shitty about it. Sorry, mate. Nothing really coherent. Not to pick on you too much here, Nick, but a guy with your quite insanely obvious speech impediment should be the last person talking about coherency. Although in the film of your life, you will be played by Nick Cage. You can't change my mind. Um, just a couple of people, one of them saying, uh, you're an idiot, uh, blah, blah, blah. Then he calls me bub. A guy calling you an idiot and then blah, blah, blah and calling you bub. Okay, Bub was the name of the zombie in one of the day, dawn, one of the Night of the Living Dead things. Um, don't think that's fair. I mean, I, even he didn't claim to be Jesus. But yeah, idiot, blah, blah, blah. You know, there is a, such a thing, Nick, you know, as, as being called, as being beneath refutation. Now, I'm familiar with a cartoon character um, by the name of Wolverine who uses the name Bub. So I got to wonder... Now, does this jackball calling me Bub consider himself some kind of X-Man? No, Nick. He doesn't. And it's X-Men. They're not X-Man. That's a completely different thing. Uh, you know, is he sitting in his underwear uh, in front of his computer going, Man, I'm an X-Man. Yeah. You know, you're being quite... You know, you're being quite sort of like smug for a guy who's come on the internet wearing an Hawaiian shirt claiming to be Christ. Just saying. Maybe we shouldn't be mocking other people's fantasies. I know I'm being mean, but you know... No, 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 Nick, no, no. You're being, you're being exactly as I imagine Jesus would be if he'd had to have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, he had to put up with doubters and, you know, dissenters, but Christ, he didn't have a Twitter account. Just consider this an expression of my wrath, okay? Okay, God had wrath, Nick. I don't call Jesus having wrath, but even so, I would expect if the best wrath you can do is mocking someone... You know, making fun of someone on YouTube. I think maybe wrath is a little bit. To, you know, you know, you need. To, I think you need to up your game, your wrath game. You know, as far as you know, I remember in the Bible there were things like you know locusts and floods and fucking you know, bad shit happened. Now I want to point some things out in regards to the system of belief. Okay, okay, I'll go along with this, but I would like to at some point get back to the whole I am Christ malarkey. Now, this book that I have, uh, The Laws of Mind. I do like the fact that you had to double check the title. Kind of worrying that. Then I have this other one, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. The Secret by Ronald. Oh God, The Secret, yeah. You know, again, again, Christ, Christ would have re re done research. Yeah, I don't know anything. The only thing, the only book I know anything about is is the Secret. As far as the other one, Think and Grow Rich. Yeah, does part of that plan of you know, does does part of the plan of growing rich? Even though it's these people who, who who try to sell you on an idea or a book 
or have a seminar or a program in which they can, you know, they can, you know, make you rich. You know, it's these people all got rich by selling people that very idea. It's weird, isn't it? As for the secret, you know, I made a video about that already. About 12 years ago. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't read it, uh, it's a lot of bollocks. Rhonda Byron Byrne. I can't say that name. You can't say the author's name of the book that's inspired. Well then, why don't you just ask the universe to help you pronounce it, and then you'll be able to. Anyway, um, you know, there's a few things that... It's like I have all this wisdom, all this teaching, all this... All these concepts, spiritual, emotional, intellectual concepts, metaphysical concepts, I just want to throw them at you. Yeah, well, as you've just said, Nick, this is your third video. That is what these are for. And all you've done so far is claim to be Christ and given us little backstory there. And, you know, then you've sat here, you know, talked about, made fun of one guy sitting at home in his underpants pretending to be Wolverine. And, th and now you're sitting here flashing a load of books that you've read, which is not your wisdom. Or, and then you're, now you're just sitting here saying you've got a load of concepts. This is your third video, motherfucker. The crowd are getting tired. Keyboard Cat is warming up for you. Sure. But it's like... I'm surrounded by people who, they're, they're more than ready to swallow a whale whole, but yet I give them a little crumb and they're like, oh my God, I can't get it down. Oh, give me some water. I gotta get it down. I can't. Ah. Okay. There's a very obvious um, thing I could say here, but I'm not going to because I would have said it back then, but I've matured since then um yeah, yeah yeah nick 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 you haven't given us a crumb you ain't given us even the concept of a crumb you have given us fuck all a swirling vortex of fuck all uh, it's a little tiny crumb and they're straining at it they're straining at it. They're physically fucking straining at it. I don't get that. Well, that's because, Nick, the reason you don't get it is because it's not happening. This is, this is how you imagine people watching your videos think. You imagine that they're incapable of getting their head round the fuck all you've given us. No. I want to point out that, uh, you know, they, they're hoping to basically destroy my belief and destroy my faith. No, no, not at all, Nick. Not at all. That is no, you can carry on as you were. No one's trying to destroy anything. We are simply sort of saying, you know, don't get me wrong, Nick, but if this, if you're representative of how, you know, Jesus the Christ used to behave, I can see why they ended up fucking crucifying him. Right? Nothing to do with his threat to the status quo, he was just an annoying prick. That's understandable. Because after all, you know, they're afraid, they're, they're so in love with their own limitations that the thought of somebody not being limited terrifies them, absolutely fucking terrifies them. Yeah, but when the guy who is, you know, claiming to be, you know, on the internet, who is claiming to be unlimited, and you're terrifying that, you know, when he's a homeless dude with apparently only one shirt claiming to be Jesus, you know, your limitations haven't done too, too, done you too, too well, really, have they? I know I have such horrible language for a Christ. I, I, I don't know how Jesus spoke. For all I know, Jesus might have been. A foul, you know, been a bit rude. He might have thrown out the odd expletive, maybe even the odd fucking slur, just to mix it up, you know, be a bit controversial. I don't know. I weren't there. No, you know, because this channel, this channel is for teaching. If you don't want to learn, if you just want to criticize and whine, then find some other channel to do it on. 
Okay, but Nick, part of teaching is criticism. And also, if you find that most of your audience are not receptive to what you're saying, then maybe the problem is you, right? This is what I have to do, you know, whenever I, when, when I, do, when I do stand-up comedy, whenever I've done, you know, um, stand-up courses, talking to new comedians, one of the rules I try, one of the things I try and, you know, imp you know get them to think, you know, get it set in their head, is that if an audience is not receptive to a joke you're telling or to your, to, to your, to your set or your routine, then that's your problem, not theirs, right? That's your job as a teacher. Because I don't have time for you. See, I don't believe that. I think you've got plenty of fucking time. I think you've got time for days. Seriously. I'm here for people who want to learn. You don't want to learn? Leave. No. Now, here's part of the teaching. Ah, oh, finally. Teaching. Three and a half minutes into your third video. Finally, some fucking wisdom. Hit me with it, Nick. And, you know, this book I'm quoting from a lot because, you know, it's like ever so often the universe gives me books which just, they inspire me. Okay, okay, the universe doesn't give you those books, Nick. Authors write them and you buy them and you see them, okay? It's not the universe giving you. So the universe gave you the secret. Isn't that a bit paradoxical? But considering what it is. Also, if you're just going to be quoting from other people's books, why don't you just recommend people buy the book rather than sit there pretending this is you teaching us this? Me or they affirm what I already know to be true. So it's telling you what you already know to be true. Okay, so so it's re so what's the point in reading a book that already tells you? Well, shouldn't you be reading things that challenge you? Apparently, you don't like that. You know. There's one thing about Jesus is, you know, you'd, I thought Jesus would have, you know, had a bit of a thicker skin than this. And when a book tells me something that I already know to be true, I buy the book generally. Is your, is your favourite book, Yes, I Am Christ, by Nick Bravo? You know, I mean, so you buy, so, so you buy a book that you tells you what you already know to be true. Why? What's the point? Buy a book that tells you something you don't know. Or if I need inspiration, I buy the book. Or if it, you know, if it gives me rational, logical arguments to my beliefs, I buy the book. Okay, okay, so if you have beliefs, you shouldn't need someone else to come on afterwards and tell you why those beliefs are <laughs> rational. You should already know if you if you any belief you already claim to hold, you should already be able to defend it yourself. If you can't, then why are you? Why do you hold it in the first place? And I try to comprehend it. I try to understand it because I, too, am always learning. But you're not learning if it's stuff you already know. No. Hmm. True quote. True faith is the union of your conscious and subconscious mind, scientifically directed. Scientifically directed. Mmm. As we said when I was younger, chinny recon, bruv. Chinny recon. The most potent forces of nature act silently with no noise. Okay, just so FYI, Nick, you sort of, you know, getting into the camera and over accentuating your face as you say this doesn't add to the validity of the quote. By studying nature, we communicate with the infinite. Do we? Wow! Now I want to point something out with that. You know, so many people think that if something changes, that there's going to be, you know, like they're watching some fucking episode of Charmed or some godforsaken little fucking Harry Potter, you know, little witchy fairy dust bullshit cartoon. Can I quote someone now? I'd like to quote the, the immortal words of Edward Elizabeth Hitler when he said, you talk an incredible amount of bollocks. Do you know that? 
where anytime something changes, there's sounds and, and lights and sparklies and, you know, sounds of thunder and colors and swirly things going on. Okay. No, that doesn't happen because nature doesn't do that. Nature, the world, the universe, takes the easiest, simplest, quickest route possible. Water always runs downhill. Water always runs downhill. Why is that the quickest, easiest path? That's not water making that decision. That's gravity. Gravity runs down here. Also, that's technically not true, depending on how far you want to expand the definition of water. I mean, human beings are 65, 70% water, and we go, we go uphill. Fuck it, we go into space. And what do you mean the easiest route possible? According to what? There is only one route. There aren't multiple choices here. I love that you can look at the world and think that this is the easiest way it could have been done. Uh, also, water, go, water, go, uh, um, water goes downhill. Uh, what about clouds? What about steam? What about evaporation? Isn't that water going up? Yeah, it comes down eventually, but it still goes back up, doesn't it? Don't tell me. Don't. No, don't tell me, little. I. I know there are some places it runs uphill, but that's not the point of what I- Are there? Or maybe in an M.C. Escher portrait. Yeah. It doesn't flow uphill. And also, if you believe that to be the case, that you go, okay, I know there are some places it goes uphill, or doesn't that kind of just- Haven't you just stepped on the point that you, you're making? You can't just blush it away. You can't acknowledge that what you've just said is- the absolute statement you've made is bollocks and then, you know, go, yes, but let's ignore that. I'm try what I'm trying to say is that you've got to have faith in yourself. And what the fuck does the direction water flows have to do with me having faith in myself? I have faith in myself. I have faith in the universe. Yes, but the universe exists and so do you. I don't need faith in that. It's there. It doesn't matter whether I believe in it or not. It's there. And it does what it's going to do. If you, if you know something is there, you don't need faith. I have faith in the infinite. You have faith in the infinite. And that is as meaningless a statement as I think we need to end this on. If you're, if you're watching this, it means you're some, one of my Patreons, and I thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.